Hey guys, Loom has updated their platform yet again, and there's some really cool updates that I want to bring your attention to, so I'm going to make a series of videos to feature them, starting with this one. Hey guys, it's Edie, your video and YouTube strategist, and I'm coming in today with a few videos on the updates that have gone on to Loom. I don't want to make one long video, so I'm going to make some mini videos for you. So first, I wanted to show you the new look, the new branding, the new logo, everything. So as you can see up here in the left side of the screen, they have a new color scheme and they have a new logo. It's more like a starburst and it's in a purple hue kind of color, which I love. Their desktop is now much more organized and much cleaner. Um, you can see that you can have multiple uh, workspaces if you need. They're coming soon with the ability to add on more workspaces. Just as an aside, Loom is working on updating and doing things that have never been done on this platform before, and they're constantly doing updates. So I'm going to be coming in quite frequently, I think, with some updates on what's going on with Loom. So let me just walk you through the desktop just so that you can see how different it is. This, we're on the videos tab in our, in my personal library, and you can see now, um, the folder system is completely different. It looks much more organized and clean. And then those folders are followed by the thumbnail images for the actual videos that you have on your library. And you have two ways of looking at your library content, and that could be the grid view, or the other way is the list view. The other thing that's new over here is that we have screenshots now and screenshots are literally that. If you want to take a screenshot of your desktop, of an app, of a window that's open on your computer, whatever it is, you can only take it, however, using the desktop app. You cannot take it using the Chrome extension, but you can view it um, using the, the Chrome extension. And you can use this because you can download these for anything. If you want to create a custom thumbnail, whatever um, that case may be. The other thing is that they now allow you to export your insights, which is basically your analytics. Who viewed it? How often did they view or how many times did they view it? And then when you click on the video itself, it gives you a little bit more in-depth in, in insights or engagement information in terms of did they watch the whole video or only a portion of the video. If you need to create a new folder because you want to reorganize your uh, videos, then you can click there. And now you can click on this button that says new video if you want to actually start recording now as opposed to where it used to be. And then this to me is really, really much cleaner. You can see what the three dots over here allow you to invite someone to edit, make it public. Because again, everything that you create is private until you make it public. You can ask, put a star to it if it's a folder that you're going to always be putting content in so that you can identify it. You can rename it, you can duplicate it, you can archive it, or you can delete it. In this instance, I'm going to show you how it looks to delete. And then let's delete this one too. There you go. So that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next video when we're going to go a little bit more in depth in some other cool things that are now new to Loom. All right. See you in the next video. Bye.